Welcome back to Bash Bros, an episode 56 of Notorious Pro Wrestling, the TEW Let's Play series where we find out what exactly would happen if Conor McGregor started his own wrestling promotion. My voice is starting to go, <clears throat> I usually, like, I'm sure you know I usually record these in batches of four, I usually say that, so, like, going back to recording five in a batch, like, my throat is just like, no, why are you doing this? Um, but yes, so, uh, we have this and then the next this is the go home show for our pay-per-view our i your bollocks 2022 pay-per-view you were here last week so there's no real point in going over what you have missed because you just haven't missed a thing um but we will go over some news uh i don't know why i haven't spotted this before but pro wrestling grill got a tv show no idea how i missed it and you know what it's pretty fucking good <laughs> Um, so their TV show is called Three Count um, and they got a deal on KDoc TV I don't know I don't know who or what that is um, and uh, yeah in case you haven't noticed like their their tapings are matching what our tapings have kind of become recently um, but god damn some of their main events have been really good I don't know if I can show them here um, show history so, like, they have Ban Bandito and Brody King and Gresham and Ray Hort. Like, they have a se like these guys are having 78, there's a 72 in there. Um, again, 72, 76. They had an 80. Jesus. Um, again, 80 and 72. Admittedly, they're kind of just repeating the same matches at a certain point. Um, but yeah, like, really good, like, they have like solid, solid matches every once in a while, or they have fantastic like matches every once in a while. Um, so yeah, that's really cool to see that they have um, a TV deal, and hopefully that will start to see them rise to the ranks of the company wars. Uh, I wonder if it is affecting their size drastically. I mean, their size has slowly been going up. As so, it was 15 for ages. And 16, 17. Um, it is going up, maybe slowly, but it is still going up. So other news as well. So uh, <laughs> bit of a weird one, it's kind of funny. Uh, Miro cheated on Lana with Penelope Ford in AEW. So Lana is still with WWE at this stage. Um, Miro is with AEW. Penelope was is with AEW. So yeah, um, I kind of find that really fun. I don't know why it's funny. It's really not, but um, there you go. Penelope, so obviously now everyone hates each other there. So uh, Drew McIntyre was loaned next to UK. That sounds so, imagine that in real life. Imagine the f matches you could see with Drew Galloway going to um, NXT, and, like him versus Ilya. Even him versus Walter, and a Walter's on NXT 2.0 now, but you know, something like that. Ugh. Yeah, sad. And Jake Roberts' contract is up for negotiation. I will renew it. Jake has been a fantastic manager, and his partnering with Sonico has been great. So, yeah, definitely going to renew that. So, that is all the news covered. Let's book the show, shall we? Okay, and um, we are back. Um, there was no real obvious choice of which to make the main event. Uh, similar issue uh, two weeks ago where <sighs> there's at least one good performer in every match, but the person they're facing isn't reliable enough. So Jay Lethal, he is hopefully good enough to kind of drag Stevie Boy to a TV uh, main event level match. So let's get into it. Backstage promo Grizzly Young Vets are pissed 
that the Aussies are pissed. <laughs> Pretty much saying that Grizzly Young Vets deserve the title shot, not Aussie Open. The reason why they haven't gotten the title match is because they don't deserve it, whereas Grizzled Young Vets do. And that Aussie Open have some nerve complaining about all this. 51 rated um, promo. Next up in a pre-show match, Aussie Open defeated Les Artistes in 1451 when Kyle Fletcher pinned Peter Fisher after a fidget spinner. 60 from Kyle, 61 from Mark, 44 from Peter and 39 from Lucas. 55 rated match overall which is good, especially for a pre-show match. Next up a backstage angle. Will Hobbs is like, yo, Ace, are you coming out to... Not escort. That's not the right term. Hey, Ace, are you coming out to... Support me in my match later? I don't... What would one say? Are you going to manage me? You can be at ringside? Oh, yeah, so I'll do, yeah. <laughs> so Will Hobbs says to Ace, you know, look, you coming to ringside for my match later. And Ace is like, no, baby. I'm going out to party. I got a clean sweep. Woo! Or something along those lines um, but Carlos Room was like hey big guy I've got your back I'll be out there tonight 65 rated angle then into the match itself or then into the main show uh, in a superb match Jonathan Grisham defeated Will Hobbs in 1508 uh, with a spike pal driver just big meaty man slapping meat <laughs> um, Grisham had a 68 Jesus Christ dude Calm the fuck down. And Will Hobbs had a 53, 60 rated segment overall. Awesome match. Uh, next up on about that had Great Heat and Good Wrestling Bonesaw defeated Joe Henning in 1503 following a Blue Thunder driver. Bonesaw had a 51, Joe had a 55 and a 52 rated match overall. That's good. Uh, wasn't sure what to expect from Bonesaw due to him not really being a singles competitor but that is an, a pretty solid performance. Post-match, uh, Dynasty flee up the ramps, leaving their belts in the ring. Kings of the North pick up the belts and pose with them. A possible hint at what we will see at the pay-per-view. 47 segment. That's okay. Next up, in a bout that had great heat and decent wrestling, Kaylee Ray defeated Zia Brookside in 1504. Killer Ray had a 54 and Zia had a 47. Overall, a 48, oh, which is okay. Um, it's not that Jazia is bad. It's not that she's bad. She's not that bad. It's not that Jazia is average, but she seems to drag down whoever she faces. Like, Kelly Ray couldn't pull a good match out of her. I don't know. It's just very underwhelming. 48 is okay. Post match, Kelly Ray nearly gets her hands on Tessa. Um, she has Tessa's hand trapped between the stairs and the ring post with her arm on top of the, the steel stairs. She's about to break it with a baseball bat whenever she's inadvertently distracted by Ray O'Reilly, allowing Tessa to escape. Um, say, like Zia was going to make the save, and then Rhea attacked her, and that accidentally caused. Uh, a distraction which allowed Tessa to make the, the to flee and then Rhea and Kelly Ray get into a pushing and shoving match uh, Kelly Ray blaming Rhea that Tessa got away 60 rated segment overall backstage promo then Jen interviews Debbie Keitel and Debbie had never forgotten what Tennille did Debbie was just biding her time waiting to take revenge on Tennille for throwing her to the wolves all those weeks months ago and now at the pay-per-view she will finally get her revenge as these two will face off. 43, which is okay. I wasn't sure how this was going to go. Uh, how Debbie was on the mic. But 43 is okay. And then in our main event. In a bout that had great heat and good wrestling, Jay Lethal defeated Stevie Boy in 2003 with the Lethal combination. Uh, Jay Lethal had an in-ring performance of 63. Stevie had a 51, leading to a 60 overall, which is good. Uh, Jay had his working pants on for this one. And that's the show, 59, a bit low. Um, lowest we've had in a while, we've been hitting, we've been hitting 60s pretty regularly, so that's, it's not disappointing, it's still good. But disappointing considering our current run of four. Uh, news then coming out of the tapings, SWC still making moves, so they signed Matt Tavern. 
uh, who is at ROH, and that's it. Yeah, uh, yeah, and SWC. And current NWA uh, Women's Champion, Dana Brooks. She'll be, re- she'll, she'll be wrestling under Dana Brooke in SWC. Interesting. No, she won't. <laughs> she will be as Ashley Sibara. I wonder if she would get this much work if she left WWE in real life. Part of me thinks no. Part of me thinks no. But yes, that is it for another week of Wanted. Next time you guys are here, it will be the I Your Bollocks pay-per-view. Where we will have Debbie Keitel versus Tanil Dashwood, Michael Sadamora versus Riho, cage match for the NPW Tag Team Championships between Kings of the North and Dynasty, Grizzle Young Vets versus Aussie Open. The Women's NPW Championship will be up in a match between Rhea O'Reilly and Tessa Blanchard. And in our main event, it will be Sonico versus Penta for the NPW Championship. Buckle up your seatbelts. <laughs> uh, never mind. Um, yes, all that to look forward to next time. If you enjoyed this episode, however, please do consider subscribing to the channel and leave a like as it helps with the algorithm and all that jazz. If you have any ideas for episodes you want to see, if you have any ideas for tag team storylines, feuds, or whatever, please do leave them in the comments below and I will book it for you. And with all that being said, I will see you next time on Bash Bros.